Thank you, everybody, for joining us back here at Global Compliance Application Corps channel. We're sitting here once again with Chief Executive Officer Brad Moore. And Brad, in our previous conversation, we were so excited about the name change. We didn't really get to dive into Waste Tracker at all. Let's talk about that today. How does that sound to you? That's awesome. Uh, that's a good place to start. I'm pretty excited about that. It's uh, Listen, the name is cool. The name is sexy. It's very innovative. Um, I think it's actually just more who we are. And you know what's just as much who we are is that acquisition of Waste Tracker in the United States. Um, if you take a look uh, kind of previous, previous to the name change, you started seeing these news releases about resellers. Now, those resellers are all going to work under what Waste Tracker. So Waste Tracker has a piece of software. Uh, we're going to rename that entity, most like the, the GCAC North America, kind of put it in with the branding. And those reseller agreements are all about the ESG place, which is a very American focused play. It, it's a global in perspective, but there's a lot of opportunity. So what's exciting is those resellers and who we've got in the, the fold and who we've also announced and where it's leading, it's gonna connect us with close to 3000 cultivators. And while the primary focus is around getting people ESG, which is just having huge widespread adoption, that's why all these resellers are climbing to get on board to sell clear ESG, a specific percentage of those will then convert into the whole compliance supply chain. Mm -hmm. I ran these, this channels at Kodak. I know the power of the reseller channel. And then I want you to think about one other thing that's really cool. And I, I, where do, so at the end of the cultivator, they do these grams of cultivation. And then at the end of it, and we've talked to you and I've talked a little bit about this offline. Mm -hmm. You have a consumer who's using the product. And when he provides his feedback, what does he do? He downloads the Affixi app. What's inside the Affixi app? What connects all this? Wallets. So I want to throw some numbers at you. This is going to absolutely blow your mind. If you look at the 10 million grams projected for, for MTRI, you look at the two uh, the 200 odd 40,000, or sorry, 3 million grams projected for South Africa and the 600 odd thousand grams projected for the Canadian play. Just those three opportunities alone. It's over 13 million grams. The average person uses 650 uh, grams a year, which is a lot. But if they do, because I'm counting in the rec space, you know how many wallets that would be if everybody downloaded a Fixie to provide their feedback? 20,000 Ethereum wallets. Wow. 20,000. That's just from three accounts just getting started. Why is that important? Because what we've done is we've taken your phone and turned it into Ethereum wallet and we've made it secure, more secure than an online. Nothing is secure as cold storage, but for hot storage, the ability to do a face notarization, you have to be able to do a face notarization to get inside to, to, uh, to access your crypto wallet. You see the power of that? And we just keep growing and adding and adding and adding. And you know that the true value in this type of play is about how many wallets you get. So this is what, what we're, what, what I, my objective, what my goal, and I want people to truly understand this is the mass adoption, the frictionless mass adoption of an Ethereum wallet. And that's what we're doing. And already we've got our target set on 20,000 because there's something wonderful come out. It's you own the customer. Those people that, that, are, that are investing it, they'll own their customer. And then because it's my wallet, there's opportunities for ad revenues, ah, advertising to 20,000 people just alone. And if it's half, it's 10,000 people. But that's just these three accounts we're working on. What I was going to say is, yeah, this this has been a common friction point is getting people to download wallets. So you guys have streamlined oh. this process to where now, like you said, the, the amount that are going to be getting on board just through a fixie alone opens up a, a giant window of opportunity, getting this into the hands of standard retail people. You, you know, it, it, people say, why you, why didn't you put this for cultivators on a laptop like every other seed to sale? I go, it's frictionless. Everybody uses a phone. You're uploading that data. What you can do on the laptop, we can do onto the phone. It uses face notarization. That's why the KYC is important. The KYC is so important. It's about the truthfulness. The face notarization, every time you're reinforcing that truthfulness. And now for the end user, we don't need to KYC them. They download it. They download the Amtri, uh, or sorry, the Amtri, the Affixi app. And then what they do is it uses face notarization to attest their experience to that. 
But by doing that, everything, as you know, right, Michael, everything in blockchain is about a wallet. This is, we're opening, see what we're doing for consumers. And even though they're doing it about the products they're using, but we're opening to this wonderful world of other things they can do in crypto. We're making it easy for them to have another role. We're not involved with crypto. We do, there's, there's the ability to do rewards programs through tokens, but we don't do it. We have the platform. We've created a platform that's seamless and friction all the way from cultivator or grower to consumer to get an Ethereum, to get an Ethereum wallet in their hands. Using their phone, using the face notarization, it's secure as all heck. And I think that's pretty powerful. And a lot of people truly need to hear and understand that message and what we're doing. Agreed. And what I find interesting, and again, this is something that we had talked about before a little bit, is I feel like this is the proper way blockchain will be implemented in the future across multiple companies. So it's interesting to see you guys doing it now to where it's not just a purely speculative play. You guys have a real solid use case for blockchain, and that's going to appeal to the retail person more so than, as you said, the, the standard crypto bros out there. So you're opening the door to them in a, in a much more healthy way than what's been offered to them in the past in this space. There's no, aver- no reason why average Joe consumer or jail consumer shouldn't be able to have an access to their own crypto wallet, but we have to make it seamless. We have to make it frictionless. We have to make it easy. And we have to make it of something of value. You've got to remember what's our whole jam here. We've talked about this, moving real products from real cultivators and farmers onto real tables, people's homes, right? And in the process that we're able to introduce them into that wonderful world of crypto, when they can learn more about it in a frictionless way, that's just a win-win straight across the board. It's, 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 it's massive. And it's why I like, why I make some pretty bold statements. You show me somebody else that's doing it that way. I'm happy. I'm happy to, if, if nobody is, I showed you where a thought leader and they are, I'm happy and proud to be part of that club. And that's why when you look at Polygon and what they're doing, like I said, we don't pay people for money. We just pay people to tell the truth about their business. Yeah, yeah. Very well said. Well, Brad, I mean, one of the main things I want from this is for people to share their thoughts on what we're talking about here. Do you guys have any questions or concerns about it? If so, don't be afraid to leave them below. Brad, thank you for coming on and chatting again. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? Hey, listen, if people have questions, just tell them to email us at info at gca.tech. All day long, we're here to explain it. We're here to have one-on-ones. And if you have a business that's in agriculture and you want to know what consumers and you want to be able to solve your supply chain problems with better data across and sell more stuff, you should get a hold of us. We can fix this for you. It's what we do. If we're figuring it out for cannabis, we can help you too. Very well said, Brad. We'll have that email in the description below as well as a link to the website. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more coming soon. Of course, Brad, have a wonderful day. You too, buddy. Thank you.